Hey y'all, so the other day I was working on my uh, tutorial to how to make a wig. So now I'm gonna do one on the wig cap method. You can see it's coming up a little bit. I was in a rush the other day, so I didn't even get to use the glue or anything like that, but I do like to be a man of my words. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna take this bad boy off. She's still, I mean, she holding on, she's holding on. But I wanna get all this down, get all my edges back in there. So yes um and i do need to pluck the hairline a little bit because like right in here this looks more natural because i plucked it a little bit for what i had time for but once you get to like here i plucked it a little bit here but you can see like the heaviness so it makes the hairline look pretty heavy and full and it's not really always the best look for a wig to have all this hair because that's when you can kind of tell it's a it's a wig so yeah so first things first i know i have on my jacket i'm a little chilly um because i'm drinking a smoothie and it's freezing outside <laughs> So the combination of the two has me cold. Um, so let me go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is take this wig off. I just used the Got To Be Gel and I used the Got To Be Paste. I mixed them together just to see. I never did it before, see if it provided a stronger hold. And it actually did. It was kind of like a, a, a super hold almost. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And I'm going to get my wig cap and stuff because y'all not going to see me looking crazy for long. Okay. So this tutorial is going to be based off of other tutorials that I've seen before. Um, Personally, I've never been a fan of the wig cap method when I do wigs like this right here. I didn't even put makeup on it. I didn't do any of that, but it still looks natural to me. Um, I was just blessed to have good melanin. Well, not good melanin, but I was blessed enough to have melanin that kind of already matches the waist. So I don't have to deal with the same issue. Um, so I'm going to spray this with water. That's the best way to get rid of the got to be glue. Don't just pull it up. You want to wet it down so the product gets soft. The reason you do that, well, the reason you want to wait till the product gets soft, because if not, it'll pull your edges out. And a lot of people don't don't realize that that's how their edges get pulled out because they say got to be a too strong, close your edges. No, it's a hair product that's meant for hair and water removes it. So, ah. so it just begins to lift nice and easily. And under this wig, I'm telling y'all, I probably look like all my life I had to fight. Let's see. So let's get this other side lifted. Trying to multitask with this towel. Hey guys hope you like the sound of nature in the background so i end up coming on here doing a voiceover because i just didn't like the way i sounded in this video so i'm like let me just re-record this um so what i'm taking is a wet towel with some shampoo on it and i'm just washing my edges to get all that glue and stuff out just so i can have a fresh canvas to start with and i wipe it all off using the towel um as well just on the opposite end with just water um, however you choose to do it is up to you, but I had just washed my hair, so I didn't feel the need to wash it all again, just my edges. So, yes, just take your time and you can get it clean too. So after I get my edges nice and clean, I'm just putting my braids and stuff back in, freshening them up so I don't look like all my life I had to fight. Now my forehead don't look all crazy because that joint was wilding when it came out. But um, now I'm putting a little bit of um, the got to be on my edges and I'm just smoothing it back so that way it can firm up a little bit so it's not affected when I put the wig on and when I take it off. And now I'm taking my stocking cap and I'm just pressing it down into the glue. This also is a reason why I put the got to be so the stocking cap can hold on a little bit tighter. Um, and now I'm taking the Isha Bond glue that you guys saw in a previous video and I'm just putting it on my hairline so the wig cap can stay. So while the wig cap dries, I'm going to go ahead and pluck my wig. So. I just plug downward and I section out the hairline um, no more than an inch I really do like less than an inch that I section out at a time like I go little by little y'all will see me taking small little parts and going downward um, and I just keep plucking downward you'll see me spraying it down a few times because I want to make sure I have a really good grip on the hair 
Um, and this wetting it down for me personally gives it a good grip. I've seen people do it dry. Um, I say to each his own. Sometimes I do pluck dry, just like a few pieces. But if I'm trying to do like an overall plucking, I prefer to do it on wet hair. Um, so now you guys see me combing it back just to make sure that it's all blended and y'all see it starting to become more natural. So now I'm cutting my good sis into like a nice little blunt cut, but also I'm going to add layers so it's not going to be blunt for long. Um, the hair, it kind of layered itself just by me having the differences in the um, bundles. So I'm blending it all together so it doesn't look as choppy as it did once I glued it together. I'm just softening everything. Now I'm blowing her out, so I want to get her straight so when I iron it, I don't have to do as much work. So I'm just getting some of those curls and waves out. So... So now we're going to do something everybody should have done a long time ago, which is cut the cap, okay? Stop capping all your life, for real. If you're out here capping, stop. It's not cute. That's just a side note, y'all. I'm just being funny. Um, So now we're cutting off the excess wig cap. I'm going to put some makeup on my hairline. I'm going to use a few shades darker so that way it can match since the wig cap is so light. Also, I'm going to lay the wig cap down a little bit more so that way it's more molded to my head. As y'all can see, I was low-key impressed that I got it that close to my complexion. But now I'm putting the glue on my hairline so that way I could just lay my wig down. I kind of let it clear up a little bit, but not too much because I like to put it down so it can dry with the glue. Um, it makes it quicker for the dry time, at least I noticed for me and my clients. Um, so now I'm putting some makeup on my wig just to make it blend in a little bit more because as you remember I wasn't able to bleach the knots um and I'm using my hot comb to get a little bit flat I always love using my hot comb after I put mousse on it just flat irons or it well it smooths out a lot better If you kept up with my last video, I told y'all one of the tracks was annoying me. So that's what I did. I took out that track just on the uh, side pieces because it was being weird. Um, and now I'm just bending the ends a little bit, you know, adding a little band to it and getting that thing styling and profiling. See, that's me cutting out the other side. I was over it, y'all. I was so over it. And then I'm taking a little bit of glue just to the little part of my hairline just to make sure that it's blended properly um and then i'm gonna let that dry real quick i really love this glue y'all that isha blonde vine glue you the goat girl i really like it um but yes so i'm gonna attach some pictures of the final look make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and i hope to see you at the next video thanks for watching